Yo, what's going on guys? I go by the name Brickle Mode and this is gonna be a very different video than I do because I don't normally do vlogs. So, and this is actually like my the second ever vlog that I record in my channel. That's if I even post it. But basically what I'm about to try, uh, what I'm about to attempt to vlog here is uh, my visit to the Rangers Fan Fest for 2024. Because um, I wanna talk a, a little about myself. I have actually talked about it a bit. Uh, Oh God, I talked about it a bit on my channel. I I I have all the numbers from Water Burger, from those those little number tens that you when you make an order. I really can't talk. Someone someone commented that I learned that need to learn how to talk. They're not wrong. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, look at that. I'm already forgetting my words. Um, I own all the numbers that you could possibly get from the from Whataburger when you make an order it goes from 1 through 96 when I, I got all of them like way over a year ago and when I got all of them you know like I I felt like uh, I had there was nothing else left to do with them because I was just leaving them in my closet just why wow it's showing like whoa look at all my stack yeah I got all of them I didn't steal them though by the way let me clarify that I didn't steal these numbers because you're not supposed to don't steal Whataburger numbers. Basically, what I did was, it's just, I just, uh, I, drip, I drove to so many Whataburger locations, like here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and I was just basically asking if I could have one. And um, a lot of them were cool, and they gave me some. Uh, there were so many of them that were, uh, that said no, and that was completely fine. I just moved on to the next Whataburger, and that's, that's how I ended up with all of them. So when I got all of them, I decided, like, let me let me have one person sign it, and I think because I think that'll be cool. And that was Des Bryant. I, I had Des Bryant sign number eighty-eight, and and then I didn't stop there because I I felt like why do I stop? Why should I stop at one? So I kept going, and now I am where I am. I have about sixty of them signed now. If you guys are if you guys are curious to see which ones were they that got signed, I have an Instagram account named Water Signings. It's like water burger, just but just take out the S and burger and put signing water signing. I'll probably put it in my screen or in my bio for you guys to check it out if you guys want to. But why am I talking about that? Because that's what the goal is today. For today's Ranger Fan Fest, I've been plotting about this for for the last couple of months now, uh, preparing for who could possibly come to the the Rangers Fan Fest and. Uh, there was one player that I wanted so bad to come, and he turns out that he will be coming today to sign autographs, and he and it's Adolis Garcia. Ever since I got number 53 for Whataburger, I told myself, like, or not ever since I got it, because um, I didn't think about getting them signed until after I finished, but when I started getting my number signed, at the moment, the, I immediately started thinking that Adolis Garcia is signing 53. No one else is signing 53, even if I have the chance. I've and I've had had a chance to get some other players to sign number 53. Like um, I'm also a Dallas Stars fan, and um, I had a chance for Wyatt Johnson to uh, sign it, and, but instead I and instead I backed out, and he and I and I asked him if he could sign my jersey instead. Really cool guy though, but and it would have been really cool to have him for that number, but I really really want number 53 for um, Adolis Garcia and I have it in my backpack here right now I'm just driving right now so it's 5 20 a.m. and we are headed to Globe Life Field right now in the cold it's actually really cold I have a I have a I have a pretty uh pretty rough hoodie on right now I got a beanie I got a scarf so they don't open the gates till 9 but I'm going super early because uh, when last year when I went to the Fan Fest, I, got, I literally got there like at 8, an hour before they were going to open the gates. And I'm telling you, dude, there were way too many people outside. You know? And it honestly made me feel like I wasn't even going to do anything, it, it, which was kind of true, though, because autograph-wise, last year I was already doing the autographs for with the Whataburger numbers. And I waited in line for Marcus Simeon for two hours, dude. Two hours. And then when, when they started handing out the tickets, you know, to guarantee you a spot on the autograph line, 
I didn't get one. And I was so, so disappointed. I'm like, damn, man, I really waited like two hours just to not even get a, just to not even get an autograph. So, because I want a Dolores Garcia so bad today, and because I know, like, we were coming off a of World Series uh, championship run, and Adoles Garcia had a huge impact on that run. So, I obviously know that he's going to be a very a big attraction. So, I'm, I'm headed there right now. Or maybe attraction. Man, okay, man, I, didn't like the, I, didn't, I didn't like the word attraction. He's just going to get a lot of attention from my, all the fans. So, because I want to make sure I get a spot there. My plan is get there early, which is what I'm doing right now, 5.20 a.m. And then when the when the gates open, hopefully I'm one of the first. I have a feeling that there's already going to be people there uh, keeping it out there. I won't be surprised. Like, I've seen, I've seen crazier things. But plan is be one be be very close to the be very close to the front when the gate when the gates open and when the moment they give me the map to see to 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 where it tells me the locations and all i'm gonna make sure that i even if like the gates open at night in if i look at the if i look at the paper and it says that a garcia signing at 3 p.m which is six hours from nine i'm i'm getting in line like I've already committed this whole week into just waiting in line for hours. I will do this. I'm super committed, and I really hope we succeed. So now we're about to see how uh, Globe Life Field is. Let's see how many people are waiting. There's Globe Life Field. We're about to find out if um, if how many people are waiting now. This, I've been I've been behind this truck for a while now, so I I'm most likely pretty confident that he's also going to the stadium but let's see all right here we go there there this is going to be one of the main entrances but there's also one in the back but i remember last year the, uh, the most people came on this one let me see let's see if i can see people already um i don't think i see anybody huh maybe i did exaggerate it maybe maybe i'm gonna be the first oh my god i see people never mind oh Oh my God! There's a lot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, then I maybe exaggerated it again because there is people waiting, but it's not like a crazy amount. But it, it sucks that we're gonna have to wait for another three hours and thirty minutes just for the gates to open. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's how many people are waiting. Like I said, it's not a it's not a whole lot, or who knows? Maybe they have people waiting, so that's probably what's gonna add a lot of more people. But I like my chances with this. One hour in this and. There is nobody in my line. I swear to God, if I get sent to the back of the line, when they make the security check in, we'll see. One hour. All right, we're two hours in this, I guess. And there's already a lot. <laughs> I don't like this vlogging stuff. So I skipped out in the three hour in, but dude, it was a mess. First of all, let me explain that they they did it so differently this year. They didn't do the, like, they didn't have a map telling us what, what player and what time they were gonna sign. They just said that you better keep an eye on the video boards, which that's, bas that's basically one of them. And so I was like, all right, I guess we'll see what we do. And then, oh my God, everybody's coming. <laughs> I know, yeah, I got all the information here, so. There's a map of all the goodies, so. <clears throat> Can I get a picture right here? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look. You know how I told you guys in the morning that I'm convinced that Garcia's gonna sign in the afternoon, 3 p.m. No, he's signing at 9.30. And I got a ticket! <laughs> I got a ticket, bro! I was shaking. That's the update. I'll, the next update is with Garcia. That? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wants it anywhere, I guess. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take it out. Thank you. Is that? Good one. Hola, Dolores. Hola, Dolores. Buenos días. Muchas gracias. Take it. Yeah, they won't let you. Muchas gracias. So, I haven't updated in like, since I, like, um, since I got to the table. I did get the, I can't really see. Can you see? I got the Garcia autograph and... I'm actually in line for somebody else and I, I it's like that's how it's basically been all day taking a gamble with take with like whatever line you get like you don't know who's gonna be in it you just get in line and you just I guess pray that it's the guy that you want 
So I got in this line and I'm hoping it's Jonah Heim. I'm really hoping it's Jonah Heim. We won't find out till two and that's in like 20-ish minutes. So we'll see. Fingers crossed that it's Heim. We'll see. Unfortunately, it was not Jonah Heim. It was alumni and uh, that sucks. It also sucked more that one of those alumni, I already got their autograph, so I, I, yeah. That sucks. I'm calling it a day there. I was about to end the video, but I decided to cut myself because, and before I end the video, I actually want to show you guys the stuff that I got. First, we're gonna start with the, with the glorious autograph from Adolis Garcia. You can't even see it, Jesus. Look at that, number 53, Mwah. Amazing, we love it all. El Bombi. The mayor of Houston. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Am I? Okay. Um, and then we also got a game issued. Team issued. It has the barcode in it, so we're going to find out what it is. But we got a jersey. Dude, honestly, this is the reason why I like to come to these fan fests. Like, dude, you're, look, it's a Grant Anderson jersey. But, dude, like, you're telling me I can only spend 100 on a on the jersey that was probably used by the player not only that it's stitched everything it has so much better quality than the, the jersey that they sell like in like a team's a pro sport or, or a store and all and so i'm just like like what's going on why is no one taking advantage of this so i i, I specifically got grant anderson because he's the only player that i saw that i was that's still on the team and actually tomorrow he uh He'll be signing in a in a Kroger with Nathaniel Lowe, and I also got a Nathaniel Lowe jersey. So maybe tomorrow, um, maybe I'll do another vlog. We'll see. I didn't vlog it, but I did get the autographs. Yay! Other things that I got is um, they were sell they were selling uh, stuff that they used to uh, give away in the games last uh, from years before. Like they were, I remember they gave this one in 2022 uh, Mexican Heritage jersey and. I remember me and my family, we were fighting We were fighting so hard to try to get these, and only a couple of us got it. I got one. Thank the Lord. And then I also got this. I remember I was trying to get it, and look, it matches me. It has the Whataburger sponsorship. It's basically just a giant beach towel with the, with a Rangers logo, and I might put it in my wall, so we'll see. But that's all I got. I'm going to pass it back to my Pat self. You guys. Have a good day. Oh, hey, we cannot be mad. We cannot be mad because I did come here for, with one mission and one mission only, and that was to get the Garcia Auto, which we did. Thank the Lord. And so, yeah, the high Auto was just going to be a, a bonus. But so, yeah, it does kind of suck because I did wait in line for a while just, just to not get it, but it happens. That's, that's, that's the risk you take going to fan fest and hopefully if, if some of you guys are watching this video hopefully y'all get a more understanding in case y'all want to go like to like next year's fan fest or whatnot so yeah i'm gonna end the video there and who knows if i get 200 subscribers i'll make a video showing all of my whataburger numbers all the ones i got signed i'll make a video if, if i reach 200 subscribers i will make that video anyways thank you for watching you guys have a good one. God bless you all. Have a great day. Once again, future me and this time, this is me editing my video finally two days at since the fan fest. So I'm 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 already a little late on making this video, but um, yeah, I hit the 200 uh, mark. So maybe I guess we will be making a video soon, talking, uh, going one by one on all my autographs. So keep an eye on that.